guys, right behind me is our first stop in Colorado, Time Emporium Escape Rooms. They have two locations, and this is their Fort Collins Escape Room location. Uh, there's actually a lounge here as well, so it's called Looking Glass Escape Lounge. Um, we're going to play three of the games here. They are really short. They're the 30-minute ones, um, but in their Loveland location, they have the full 60-minute ones. All right, you ready? Okay, let's follow me. What's poppin' and lockin' everybody, it's Brandon from Escape the Rumors. We are finally at Fort Collins, Colorado, and our first stop is at Time Emporium, and they have three locations. But this location is Time Emporium, the Looking Glass Lounge, and we're very excited to find out what that's about. Before we do so, these are the owners. Jeff, how are you? Doing great, thank you. And Noah, how are you? I'm doing wonderful, thank you. All right, so please tell me the name of the three games that you have here. So we've got uh, Closed Mansion, Hotel Helen, which is our haunted experience, mm -hmm. and then our brand new room, State. State. And is State the newest one? It is. It just opened about a month and a half ago. Oh, very excited to get in there. And um, so tell me, which one is your most popular? Which is the one that players come in and they're playing the most or opt in for the most? That's a good question. Oh, what would you say? Uh, I think at this location, you can't see them all. Like, everyone has draft hits or something different. So, like, Close that great murder mystery first time again here. Mm -hmm. uh, Hotel Helen, like right when you say it's a scary room, it either just pushes someone away or someone dives straight into it. Yeah. So like you kind of each group kind of goes into and out of it. And then state since it's just new, people just want to some new experience. Say they've done the new things. So okay. uh, we're seeing I think right now a great push on states, but uh, overall they're pretty comparable. Are they uh, same difficulty level or? The so, yeah, they're, yeah. They're, all, they're all pretty good. Guys. I'd say Clo might be the easier of the three based on like how often people escape. Okay. Um, State, since it's so new, um, you know, we're still waiting to see how it shakes out. Right. Um, some people say it's like easy and, and like very smooth, mm -hmm. and then some people really struggle with it. Depends on the kind of what kind of thinker you are. Well, if they, someone came in and they never visited your company or they never even played an escape room before, which one would you say? And they said, which one should I try first? What would you say? Uh, I would say definitely Clo. Yeah, I think yeah, Closed Mansion. It's a it's your stereotypical clue board game, so it's a very intro to what an escape room would be without um, going too out of the way of unique puzzles. Right. Okay. And in fact, all three of our rooms we designed uh, for our thirty minute experiences. We want people that have never experienced room before to be able to enjoy them. So um, you know, when we do our corporate groups or people that are new to the industry, um, we want them to be able to enjoy any of these thirty minute experiences right. and let them be a stepping stone to your traditional one hour adventure. Okay. And uh, we're visiting their other location in Loveland, I believe. Loveland, Loveland? Uh, Loveland. Loveland. Is the technical pronunciation. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and they're, they're up, I think the third location is in where, you uh, said? Estes Park. So it's in the mountains a little bit, right uh, outside the Rocky Mountain National Park. Wow, three locations. Uh, so we're trying out the two of them, and uh, we'll try, I'll see if I can get some sneak peeks inside of all the rooms we're playing. I don't know, we'll find out. Uh, but what, when did you open this location? Is this your newest location? This is our newest location. And when did you open this location? So officially, um, we launched the three 30 minutes or launched the 30 minute escape rooms in the lounge in January of this year. Okay. So it's definitely the newest. Before then, we were operating uh, a single one hour room in the basement. Um, and then we took, we ripped it up at the end of last year and mm -hmm. put these new experiences in. Oh, all right. And their lounge, it's a full bar? Correct. Okay, so basically you're having them go in and uh, getting a little bit buzzed before playing, or is it not allowed and they play and then it, talk about it and we drink both? Yeah, yeah. liquid courage. Yeah, yeah exactly. exactly. <laughs> or liquid creativity, who knows? Exactly. <laughs> All right, well, when you're uh, coming over here, make sure you, you know, 
get a nice drink and uh, get in there and play all their games. Because we haven't played them yet, but I'm very excited to see what that's about. Um, do you both still get a chance to Game Master and uh, in the control room and watch the players on camera still? Definitely. Yeah? Not as much, but uh, when, you can. when I can, it's fun to see. But at least looking over and listening to the comments and the customers make uh, that is always the best part. All right, that leads me to my question. Please share a story with us of something you've seen on camera, the players, like, because we heard almost everything, but I'm always surprised by a new story. Something wow, something crazy. Do you have any stories you can share with us? Um, I've got kind of like, Wow, I don't know. Uh, we've had recently one group, so Hotel is kind of our scary room. Push people to limits, like we've had people like actually pee their pants and stuff like that, and get a little wild. Um, but I think my favorite one is there's a bed in there, and uh, a group came in super drunk, and uh, the guy fell asleep right when the game started, and he actually never woke up till the end. And the employee had to like we had to like wake him up ourselves. Wow! Uh, so he paid for a thirty minute like, nap. Yep. So exactly. <laughs> Um, so I think that was pretty fun just to watch their friends like joke around with him while he was sleeping on bed the whole time. So. See, that's a first. We haven't heard, heard that one. Um, and do you have a similar story or a um, different story? I have to be careful of how much I explain because you're about to play right. one of the rooms. Right. And no spoilers. Um, but there's uh, there's a point, and this might make sense after you play the room, um, it was a bachelorette party, and uh, there was a point where you kind of have to venture into the unknown, as much as I'm going to say. and. Um, the, the um, maid of honor basically stepped in front of the bride and said, I've got you. And she uh, dove head first into the unknown, Ooh. Um, which was uh, very exciting to watch. Right. She was proving her bride's maid worthiness. Exactly. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you for sharing those stories. Um, one personal question that I'm very curious about, because you offer 30 minute games and 60 minute games, what is your thought process when creating something like that? Is it like half the amount of puzzles for a 30 minute game that you would normally provide for a 60 minute game, what do you, how do you go about creating that? So that's a great question. So um, we uh, we purposely didn't want to just take a one hour room and cut it in half. Because mm -hmm. um, in a one hour room, you have some puzzles that can, you can be working on for 10, 15 minutes. Um, you got average puzzle, you're spending five or six. Right. Um, and we didn't think that'd be a great experience if you have a 30 minute room and you spend half the time stuck on one puzzle. Mm -hmm. um, so we wanted them to be very fast paced and, and action packed. So, um, like Close Mansion, for example, actually has more puzzles than uh, than one of our one hour rooms in Loveland. Wow. There's a lot to do, but they're all just a little more simple, not quite as complex. Yeah. Um, to kind of make sure that there's always like something to do, and when you split up, then there's plenty for you to do, even when you uh, have multiple people working on different things. All right. Well, please, do me a favor. Let, let's do the mansion last so we can warm up to that one, because it sounds <laughs> like it's heavy, <laughs> filled with puzzles. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And then, um, do you play escape rooms? Oh, yeah. Or when you get a chance to? Mm -hmm. um, can you give us a sh or give them a shout out? Or it doesn't have to be a favorite, just one that was memorable for you, preferably the company and a game. Gotcha. I'll let you go first. Ooh. Put it uh, on the spot. I know, right? <laughs> uh, I'm going to do one in state and one out of state. Oh, way. perfect. Like balances it out. Uh, in state, I definitely have to say uh, Rabbit Hole. Um, they do amazing rooms. Uh, I would probably say out of the three that they have currently, um, Mystic Temple is probably my favorite one, so it's right. super cool. But very, just the finale of the room when you win, is that they do a really good job of handling all their finales. Okay. Um, and then out of state, uh, I think still Cutthroat Caverns at 13 Gate holds holds the name for me. Is just the wow factors on the room, how brand it is, and the, the just sets that they make. Okay. Did he like steal yours? Or did he? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you so so like so so probably. You should went first. <laughs> so, so I'll uh, I'll say two other ones. Okay. So those are great ones too. Um, but to kind of mix up um, the answer. Um, out of state, um, I'd say Lab Rat um, at Hatch Escape is amazing. Yeah. There's some like transcendental experiences in there that you just have to stop and just be wow. Yeah. That's amazing. Um, and then in state, um, somewhere secret um, here in Fort Collins. Mm. Um, it's just a single escape room. Um, they they operate on top of their they have like a shop uh, in downtown Fort Collins. Okay. Um, and it's just very fun. So um, it's called it's somewhere best. secret. And the game is called Summer Secret. It is. It's yeah. just a single room. It's uh, and it's just uh, it's not stressful. There's a, it's it's an old fashioned room. There's not like a lot of technology, but it's just so well done and such a beautiful experience. Okay. Um, well, it's no longer a secret. Like, he just spilled yeah. the beans. <laughs> 
it's it's just it's really fun. All right. Well, thank you for uh, sharing those. You guys just got a lot of gems that they dropped for you. Shout out to Hatch Escapes, Somewhere Secret. Rabbit Hole and 13th Gate for those games that they played, and those are all really great games. Um, Somewhere Secret is new for us, so I'm sure that's also equally as great because you name dropped it. Um, the last thing we want to know is something about you guys um, that most people wouldn't know outside of Tommy Porter. Do you have like a hidden talent, a hobby you like to do outside of escape rooms? I don't know. This question's <laughs> coming in. Uh, you you got to go first this time. <laughs> I'll have to think. Well, let's see. So. I don't know about any hidden talents. I mean, just playing escape room mm -hmm. probably doesn't count. <laughs> um, I guess I, I, I'll stick to the uh, the business side of things. Um, I also own a family entertainment center, so oh. kind of my background is uh, laser tag. Um, so I actually um, traveled around the world playing competitive laser tag when I was in college. Wow! I went to Australia and played in a tournament, and that was kind of my entrance into this industry. Um, and then from there, like being in the industry, kind of got exposed to escape rooms. And, had a lot of fun with it. Okay, um, you sound like a really fun dad. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, like, because we met, we met his daughter on, on the way in. I'm like, yeah. You, I was gonna say I'll play. I'm gonna play this clip for my daughter every time she questions things. <laughs> um, but I guess it's on a personal note. Um, I do have an eight-year-old daughter. Um, yeah, and she's uh, yeah, she's here. And uh, has, does she play escape rooms? Oh, um, she's actually never. Well, we actually did play an escape room together once for like Christmas. Okay. You know, like a Christmas themed room. But other than that, she likes to kind of be around the escape rooms. But she, but she she already knows all the answers. Oh, so yeah, that, she has the inside scoop. And I do have to think about, I guess a shout out to her, she did design a mermaid themed escape room that she is waiting for us to build one of these wow. days. So if you ever do play a mermaid themed escape room, then we can pick right up. Where would that go? Which location? That would be a good question. I'm not sure. The fourth location. That would be the, <laughs> the fourth location. Dude. All right. Mermaid, uh, and Noah, something that most people do not know about you. Ooh. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'd say I don't know. I love skiing, so like okay, spending time uh, in the mountains when I can. Uh, you've uh, been doing it for a while, or is this yeah, since I was like three, since like I was same. Kid, I'm so. a skier too, yeah, since three. Okay. So. <laughs> so it's hard to make the transition to snowboarding. Yeah, no, I well. did it for two years. And can do it. Same here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, I would, I would go Mount Kilimanjaro. Uh, oh yeah, I'd climb Mount Kilimanjaro. So that would be a guess. I would, that would put be, that first. <laughs> that would change. The, yeah, yeah, that's. Uh, yeah, he's, but, he's kind of modest. But, yeah, he's that's uh, yeah, it's quite yeah. a feat, man. Uh, another few feet there. But. Okay. Well, thank you for sharing that. Is there something that you can share with us about, like any updates uh, for the near future for Tommy Emporium? Like, I don't know if you're like trying to take over and open up a new location or a new game, or is there anything you want to share about, you know, updates? I'm not sure how much uh, you think it's okay to share about our upcoming rooms. Um, I think. There's enough to share, and enough to hold back the okay. secrets. Uh, we're launching definitely, I'll say one, I'll let you say one. Uh, but, uh, we're, so each location is actually going to get a new room, hopefully, in about the next six to seven months. We're currently trying to do two designs at once. Wow. Um, so the 30 minute room, we're going to be uh, doing a college dorm room because Fort Collins is definitely a college town. So we want to kind of cater to that nostalgia of like a 90s throwback college dorm room. Yeah. Um, with some just, just good old references. To okay. Life. Well, before we get nice. to your update, at each location, um, so you're not maxed out, you still have room to build more rooms. So what is the max amount of games you can have here? We'll end up maxing it after this. So four here, four in Loveland, and then our Essence Park has two, and that is the max for that. Wow, so, yeah. that's a lot of games. And uh, any updates from you that you can share? So in our Loveland location, um, once we uh, finish working on the rooms here, we're halfway built already. Okay. Um, it's uh, Curse of the Sirens Cavern. And that's actually going to be our largest escape room by square feet. Wow. Okay. And that's at, at the Loveland location, which we're visiting tomorrow. Exactly. So, all right. Well, hey, Jeff, Noah, thank you so much for having us. Uh, yeah. We really appreciate you taking the time out. And um, also, we're very excited to get in there to try their three 30 minute games at this location. And then tomorrow, we, again, we are at their Loveland location and we're playing. Which games are we playing at Loveland? We're doing uh, Wizards Tower and Murder in London. Ooh, very exciting. Um, and where can they find you guys? The website, social media, what, what is it? Um, either one. Um, so Time Emporium, time-emporium.com. Time-emporium.com. And then uh, our Instagram is Time Emporium. Oh, yeah. I was going to a dash or a I think it's Time-emporium. Time-emporium. It'll be right here. <laughs>
And also, make sure you check out our website, EscapeTheRumors.com. You'll know what we thought of all five games that we were playing. Three 30-minute games, two 60-minute games. And also, don't forget to like and subscribe our YouTube channel. Hit that like button below because we're giving you footage of the parking lot, the lobby, what to expect when you get here. And again, I'm going to sneak in there while they're not looking and try to get a sneak peek of what the room looks like. And I'll show you guys. Uh, but you got to like and subscribe. Peace out.
Oh my god, we are here! Surprise! We are at Time Emporium, but in the Bubbling location. And as Brendan said in his interview before, we are trying two rooms here, so let's go see what they're all about. Something out. 